I've been asked by a lot of people new to photography which lens they should start off with. And my answer is always the same, and it doesn't matter what brand of camera they're using. The 24 to 70 mm f2.8 lens has long been regarded as the workhorse lens or the walk around lens, and rightly so. Having that diversity of focal length opens up a lot of possibilities for different types of photography. Plus it's a lens you'll probably never sell and will always be in your camera bag. The thing I absolutely love about this lens is the focal length. Having 24 to 70 really does cover you in a lot of situations. In fact, having that focal length while you're traveling is just invaluable. Today, I'm gonna to put the proof in the pudding and just see how good this lens is. I'm visiting my home city's botanic gardens. It's just gone spring here, so there should be a ton of color out. Let's go and have some fun. Literally every lens manufacturer makes this focal range. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's Sony, Nikon, Sigma, they all make a 24 to 70. In fact, Nikon released the 24 to 70 mil kit lens, and now granted it was an F4 lens, they released it with the Z6 and Z7. Now, although that was an F4 lens, it does say something to you about the focal range and how it's commonly used. At 24mm on the wide end, that gives you enough length to do things like landscapes or internal shots. In this case, I'm just taking shots of this bamboo, which I'm looking straight up the stalks. On the other end at 70mm, if it's not enough for you, then a lot of cameras nowadays have a very high megapixel count. So realistically, you can just crop in on your shot and still end up with a very high quality image. The lens also comes in very handy for video, getting those nice smooth bokeh type shots in a cinematic type style. I'm just heading into the Japanese garden section here at the Botanic Gardens and it's absolutely beautiful. Now at 24 millimeters, that really isn't the widest. It's okay, but it isn't something like a 16 mil to 35 mil lens. But when it comes to things like where I'm stuck in a situation where I've got a beautiful vista that I want to take a shot of, but 24 mil isn't wide enough, I just simply do a panorama. Just grab three shots and stitch it together in Photoshop. Now I love my prime lenses. I have a bunch of them at home. But if you don't want that bit of a pain that you're continually changing lenses throughout the day, and you don't want that chance that you're gonna miss that magic moment, then this is the lens I always go for. It's my one and done lens, basically. Never had a single lesson. When you are traveling and you haven't been somewhere before, you just don't know what you're going to run into and you're gonna need that versatility in terms of focal length, like 24 to 70. Because you might be in a situation, hey, look at this guy, he's come over here to have a bit of feed. Hello, little water dragon. Yeah, look, you could be in any type of situation where you've got low light, you could be in a big field of flowers and you need a wide shot, that's where you go for the 24 mil. Or you might wanna do some nice portrait shots of the people that you're traveling with. This lens does all that. So whenever I am traveling, I never forget to take this lens.
You know, a lot of people when traveling, they prefer to have that little bit more zoom reach and I can understand that. Nikon, I think, have just released the 24 to 200 mm lens. That is a variable aperture lens starting at f4 though. Uh, there's also something like the Sony uh, 24 to 105 f4 lens. Now, both of those lenses are great and they would be very good for traveling. Me personally, I much rather have the f2.8 aperture for when I'm in those low light situations. Every photographer is different. So when it comes to having a 24 to 70 mil f2.8 lens in your camera bag, and it doesn't really matter if you're using Nikon, Sony, Canon, I mean Sigma have one and a Tamron have a 28 to 75 mil f2.8 lens as well I think. With that versatile focal length you're pretty much covered anywhere you go in terms of travelling, you might need it for landscape, portrait, you could be in a low light situation that f2.8 really comes in handy as well as you might be in something like a huge field, you know, with beautiful flowers, but you want that nice, tight bokeh background. The 24 to 70 mil f2.8 lens, you just can't go wrong. Thanks so much for watching. Never stop creating, and I'll see you next time.